Praise the Lord, everyone. Welcome to this week's video devotional. I hope this cold and blustery Friday afternoon finds you well. We will be getting into the Word of God in just a moment, but before I do, I thought I'd set things up with a little bit of a story. Yesterday was a very difficult day at work for me. I had a lot on my plate. I had a lot of things going on. I was scrambling all day long. Um, I, I pretty much got through everything that I needed to. I'm right at the end of my shift. I'm looking forward to going home. My supervisor comes up to me, tells me, hey, Tony, this job that you did inventory on, you marked these parts as good and these are actually bad. We're going to have to get this fixed. And when it comes down to it, it wasn't that big of a thing. I just had to get steel up on the saw and get new parts cut so we could go ahead with the job that, that we needed to run. But I was already tired. I was already stressed out. And finding out right at the end of my shift that I'd made a mistake just kind of set me in a little bit of a tailspin. You know, I'm one of those guys where I'm pretty hard on myself when I make a mistake. I sit there and I overthink. I sit there and judge myself. And then along with the overthinking, I get to thinking that my boss is going to judge me. And when I come in tomorrow, other people are going to judge me. And I, I literally let finding out about this one mistake ruin my entire night. Um, I had a message from Jamie before I got home asking if I'd be willing to do steaks on the grill. I told her, no. She was wondering if I'd want to take a trip with her someplace else. And just, no. No, I'm just going to sit home and feel, feel miserable. <laughs> it's pathetic, I know. But that's where I was. You know, just feeling very judged, being very hard on myself. It wasn't a good spot to be in. And sometimes I'm afraid we can get that kind of mentality when it comes to God. We can look at ourselves and our stumbles and our failures and our falls, and we can say, I messed up. I made a mistake. Now God's going to judge me. God's going to be angry with me. God doesn't want anything to do with me. And let's be honest, God will judge sin. Let's take a look at the book of Isaiah, chapter 1, which I just happened to read this morning. We're looking at Isaiah, chapter 1, beginning at verse 10, reading through verse 15. Isaiah writes, Hear the word of the Lord, ye rulers of Sodom. Give ear unto the law of our God, ye people of Gomorrah. To what purpose is the multitude of your sacrifices unto me, saith the Lord? I am full of the burnt offerings of rams and the fat of fed beasts, and I delight not in the blood of bullocks or of lambs or of he-goats. When ye come to appear before me, who hath required this at your hand to tread my courts? Bring no more vain oblations. Incense is an abomination unto me. The new moons and Sabbaths, the calling of assemblies, I cannot away with. It is iniquity, even the solemn meeting. Your new moons and your appointed feasts my soul hateth. They are, they are a trouble unto me. I am weary to bear them. And when ye spread forth your hands, I will hide mine eyes from you. Yea, when ye make many prayers, I will not hear. Your hands are full of blood. Let's stop there. Wow. God's not happy with Israel. God is using very strong language to voice his displeasure with Israel. With with Israel. He's fed up with the sin. He's comparing them to Sodom and Gomorrah. He is displeased with their sacrifices and their worship. He's hiding his eyes. He's covering his ears. It's easy to read that and think, see, see, God is judging me. God is angry with me. God doesn't want anything to do with me. But read further, friends. God's not done with Israel God's not done with us. Let's go to verse 16. God says, Wash you, make you clean, put away the evil of your doings from before mine eyes. Cease to do evil, learn to do well, 
Seek judgment, relieve the oppressed, judge the fatherless, plead for the widow. Come now, and let us reason together, saith the Lord. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. we we'll stop there. Yes, God will judge sin. But it's not his first choice. It's never his first choice. Look at the way he's pleading with Israel. He tells them, cleanse yourselves. Put away the evil. Stop doing those things. Learn to do well. In fact, I'm, I'm, going, to, I, I'm going to give you some, some, some examples right now. Here are things that you can do well, things that will please me. And now, he says, let's reason together. Let's talk about this. Because I, because I, I really want to make this work. Though, though your sins are like scarlet, though they're stained like blood, though, though you messed up and everybody in the world knows it, I want to forgive you. I want to heal you. I want to help you. I want to make things right between us. I want to make you clean and pure and holy. Friends, that's God's default setting. If we continue in sin, if we make it a habit, if we never want to change, yeah, God's going to judge that. But that's on us. God gives us every opportunity to repent and return to him. He loves us. Even if we've been as offensive as Israel was to him, he still loves us. Going back to my, my mistake at work. I came in this morning. I, I went into the office where the guy who I report to works. He brought up the situation. We covered it in about 30 seconds. I apologized. He said, don't worry about it. We made it right. It's all good. That was it. Everything I worried about last night, all, all, all the overthinking, all the fear of judgment, all that was taken care of in 30 seconds of conversation. How much more do you think God, who loved us enough to become a man, to die on the cross, to shed his blood, to wash away our sins and cover our sins, how much more do you think he's willing to forgive us? Friends, he loves us. And no matter what we've done, he's still calling us. He's still reaching out to us. He still wants to pick us up and help us get things right. Though our sins were as scarlet, he wants to make them white as snow. That's very encouraging to me. I hope it's encouraging to you. I hope the short words have been a blessing to you. That's all I've got for now. So God bless you. Have a wonderful night. We'll see you on Sunday.